good morning. I just got off the phone with Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. He told me the search and recovery efforts are getting underway within the next hour. He says he had deputies out here until the very early hours of the morning. Here's actually you can see right behind me a Warren County EMA truck. Um, they're out here just kind of assessing the situation before those search and recovery efforts do get back underway. But let's back up to how all of this happened. This happened around 5 o'clock last night here at a Florida Marine Aggregate on Warrington Road in Vicksburg. Authorities say a 22-year-old man was loading gravel into his truck when it slipped into the Mississippi River. Now, let's, you know, that water in the area is about 60 feet deep. So, the company has commercial dive teams from Greenville and New Orleans that are here helping the Warren County search and rescue team. Uh, those commercial divers are actually the ones who have been searching that vehicle. Um, it, the truck was found last night, but at last update, the driver is still missing. And we talked to a man who told us he jumped in and tried to save it. The next thing I know, they was hollering, throw in my life ring, throw in my life ring. I didn't know what was going on. Another guy went in to see if we could get out to him. We couldn't feel the truck and that it. it just happened so fast. And the name of that driver has not been released yet again. Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace says that the search and recovery efforts are going to be underway within the next hour. He's also going to be out here giving us an update at some point this morning. So as soon as we get some more information, we'll let y'all know. For now, we're live here in Vicksburg and Parker 16 WAPT News.